Hello, I'm Blaine Brubaker with the UNT Music Library. I will be showing you how to create braille sheet music from printed sheet music using our accessibility station. Our setup includes a Windows computer, a HIMSS Q Braille XL Braille display, a Canon flatbed scanner, JAWS Professional, ViewScan, SharpEye 2, Lime, and Goodfeel. Set up the Braille display in front of the QWERTY keyboard and computer monitor at the accessibility station. Make sure to plug in the HIMSS Q Braille display to the computer using the USB-C cable. The cable connects on the right-hand side of the Braille display. Turn on the Braille display by holding in the power button located on its left-hand side. A jingle should play and the Braille display cells will move and change to a welcome message. Once the Braille display has completed its startup, it should display terminal mode in Braille. It will look like this. If the Braille display starts up and presents notepad mode, which looks like this, press the letter C on the Braille display to connect to terminal mode. This requires the operator to press two buttons, like this, at the same time. Log into the computer with either the Patron's account or the LibGuest account and open the JAWS application. Click the Options drop-down in the upper left-hand corner of the JAWS Professional window, then select Braille. Once you've selected Braille, a new window will appear. Make sure that the window shows HIMSS Braille as the default Braille display option and that USB is selected for settings. Ensure that Show Braille Load Error and Run JAWS Without Speech are unchecked and press OK. Close JAWS and reopen the application and the Braille display should be ready to go. In order to turn music into Braille music, the first step you'll need to take is to open SharpEye and your scanner software such as ViewScan, which is used for this demonstration. After your two programs have been opened, make sure that you go to the ViewScan application to make a scan of the piece of sheet music that you want to turn into Braille music. In SharpEye, there's an icon to make a quick scan. Do not use it, as the system is a bug and will not save your image correctly. Use ViewScan instead. To begin scanning, set your sheet music face down on the scanner and click Scan. Once the music has been scanned, go to File and save the image. Make sure that the file type is a .tiff file or .tiff file and that you save to an easily accessible folder. Close out of ViewScan and then go back to SharpEye and choose the Open Image File button, which has the letter I with a folder underneath it and an arrow. Open the document you just scanned. It will appear at the bottom of SharpEye. Click the Read drop-down menu, which can be found at the top of the SharpEye application, and click the Read option. Once the document has been read, it will appear as digital music notation at the top of the SharpEye screen. You can then review it. You can also edit any notes by clicking and then changing them using the notation menu above. Next, click File, and depending on what you want, you'll want to export your file as either a MIDI or a NIF file. A MIDI file is what will be turned into Braille music. A NIF file is used to further edit music in accessible Braille software. Go ahead and export as both, and I will show you how to use each file. To use our NIF file, I'm going to close out a SharpEye and open Lime, our music notation software. To open the NIF file, select File, go to Import, and click NIF. Find your NIF file and open it. Go ahead and hit OK. Your music is now uploaded into Lime. To listen to your piece, find the Here drop-down menu at the top of your application and click Here. You can also edit the musical notes. However, words and lyrics cannot be edited. If you need to edit words or lyrics, you can do this in SharpEye before exporting. To actually create Braille music, open Goodfeel. Once you're in Goodfeel, click the Load button. As you can see, it needs us to specify our Braille embosser, which is used to print out Braille music. At the time of recording, we do not have a Braille embosser, so we are going to work around it. Within the Embosser Setup window, go ahead and click Suppress Windows Printer Warnings and click OK. Next, go to where you saved your MIDI file. Open it up, and as you can see, there are some naming errors that have occurred. 
at the very least, fix the title error. Other naming errors can be safely ignored. Click Process and you will see the Braille destination window open. Then click Braille Editor. Once Braille Editor is open, the Braille music will appear on the screen. Using your arrow keys on either your Braille display or your QWERTY keyboard, you can move through the Braille and edit it as needed. As you go through each line, the Braille will pop up in the refreshable Braille cells on the physical Braille display. If you have any questions, please email us at musicref at unt.edu or please visit our Music Library Equipment Checkout LibGuide at guides.library.unt.edu. Thank you for helping to make library spaces more accessible.